Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for, for the week of July 25th to July 31st, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Virgo, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed in these readings and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, spirit angels and guides, please show me what is the energy of Virgo in regards to love for this week. Thank you, spirit. All right, let's take a look. First card we have for you, Virgo, is the Judgment card in reverse, the Seven of Swords, the Death card, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Wands in reverse, and the Queen of Wands in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. All right, let's see what we have here. Somebody is turning their back to someone. I don't know if it's you or your person. There is an energy of rejection here. Or like potential rejection some of you are like wondering or asking yourself if, if it's really over between you and this person you're not sure what to believe you're not sure what to trust yeah we have seven of wands and the temperance card somebody got blocked and the Queen of Cups is here with the Five of Swords. There's some sort of falling out that happened between you and your person, some sort of fight or disagreement, argument with the Five of Swords. Um, I feel like things ended between you two or the, you two disconnected in some way or stopped talking for, for a specific period of time. And you're in this energy of wondering if it's over between you two or if it's still not over between you two. Because you're not receiving any communication from this person or any type of sign from this person. And you're not really sure what to believe. You don't know if, if it's time for you to move on or if things are still open between you and, between you and this person. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Ooh, strength and the world in reverse. You're resisting reaching out to this person or um, contacting this person because you think it's over between you two. There's a little bit of tension here or stress or hostility uh, underneath the surface between you and this person. Somebody needs to apologize, but I feel like it might be a little bit unclear who's the one who needs to apologize, but I feel like you're in this energy of feeling like it's not you or acting like it's not you. It's not you, the one who has to apologize. It's this person or who needs to like, 
you know, make some some sort of move here to fix the relationship. Okay, Virgo, but I feel like you're in this energy of giving mixed signals um, also, Virgo. I feel like a part of you is saying it's over, um, you're done, you're finished, you've had enough, but another part of you is still kind of waiting to see what happens, you know? I feel like you're trying to convince yourself, Virgo, that, that you're over this person, that you're over this relationship. But I feel like a part of you is still kind of attached and still kind of waiting, waiting to see what this person does, waiting to see if they'll reach out, waiting to see if they'll they'll pursue you or they'll fight for you in some way. Some of you want to see this person you know, give a little bit of a fight here with the seven of wands. How, how are you seeing this person, Virgo? What's your view of them? Let's take a look. How does Virgo view this person, whoever they're dealing with? You view them as the empress in reverse, so there's no growth. You might view them as lazy a little bit. Some of you feel like this is a lazy lover. You feel like they haven't really put any effort or taken any type of initiative towards you. Um, you might see this person as someone who complains more than they act. Uh, how else does Virgo see this person? We have Knight of Swords in reverse. Someone who's not communicating, justice in reverse, and the high priestess. You feel like they keep a lot of secrets from you, that you feel like um, they're dishonest in some way. You see them as someone who's being unfair or treating you unfairly. Um, you feel like they're a liar with the knight of swords in reverse. They're making up excuses. They're telling you excuses. Yeah, you feel like this person is kind of taking advantage of you or abusing you in some way. They're expecting you to do all the work. And I feel like you're kind of fed up with this person, Virgo, to be honest. Yeah, because you don't, you don't look like a lazy person here, Virgo. I don't, I'm not seeing any laziness in your energy. You, you look like a powerful energy. Powerful, confident, independent, someone who knows what they want. Someone who, someone who has goals and is willing to work towards those goals. Someone who's willing to, you know, solve, solve problems. If there are problems, you're willing to, like, solve the problem or, like, look for a solution. I don't feel like you're in this energy of just kind of throwing your hands up and, and giving up or, in, or just expecting things to magically happen on their own. Um, I feel like you're in an energy of knowing knowing how to manage yourself and know, knowing how to control yourself and to control your um, your life. Yeah, especially with the emperor here. It's like you know the necessary steps you need to take in order for you to achieve something or reach some kind of goal or reach some kind of purpose and there's a lot of like um, a fighting spirit it also feels like a youthful energy in in your energy uh, Virgo there's a there's a like I'm feeling like a youthfulness in in your energy and vitality I also feel like vitality in your energy
yeah, I just don't feel like you relate to this person because this person, you see them as someone who is lazy and makes excuses and, you know, makes makes mountains out of molehills, exaggerates or they're dramatic or makes things more difficult than it needs to be. And you have feelings for this person, but you're not going to be treating this person like a baby, you know? You're not going to be a parent to this person, a mother or a father. Um, they need to kind of hold their own and take care of themselves and take action for themselves, you know? So I'm getting like a little frustration type of energy with you, Virgo, when it comes to this person. But it's like this is you kind of looking over your shoulder because you still have feelings for them and you're still kind of expecting something from them, you know? Okay, let's take a look at your person, see what their energy is. All right, Spirit, show me the energy of the person Virgo is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. You're not going to give this person a free ride. I just heard that right now. You're not going to give this person a free ride. I've never said that before. <laughs> All right, first card in regards to your person. We have, ooh, the two of cups. Five of pentacles in reverse. The lovers, look at that. The two of cups and the lovers. This person is obsessed with you, Virgo. We have Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and the Star. Great. Two of Wands. Eight of Wands and the Six of Cups in reverse. We also have the Queen of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Emperor. Three of Cups, the Devil card, Ten of Wands in reverse. Hmm. I feel like this person doesn't trust you, Virgo. There's a lot of threes here. This person might feel like you have somebody else. There's a third party situation on your, on your side of things. Let's see, the Sun, Page of Pentacles, High Priestess in reverse. I feel like this person... Sorry for that noise outside, it's a car outside making noise. Hmm. I feel like this person doesn't trust you. They feel like you're gonna you're with someone else or you're gonna leave them for someone else. They're a little bit paranoid here. This is someone who really has strong feelings for you and they feel strong attraction, um, getting sexual attraction also. Attraction on every level. But we have the Seven of Swords here, so this person doesn't trust you. We have the Ten of Pentacles. They might see you as someone who has some kind of separate life. I don't know what that means. You, they feel like you have some kind of separate life um, outside of them, outside of your relationship with them or connection with them. This could be work, family, or a third party situation. They feel like you're going to leave them for some reason. They feel like you're, you're not going to be as invested in them as they want you to be.
I don't know about this person though, because we have the devil card here, Virgo, with the three of cups. I feel like this person is making stuff up. They're making up excuses that don't have any foundation or basis. I feel like this is someone who wants to control you in some way. They want you to do what, what they want you to do. They want you to follow their lead. They're, they have very strict demands. They're very strict demands and very strict, I don't know, conditions, requirements. Um, and they're very stubborn. You might be dealing with a fire sign or with a Gemini, a Capricorn, Aquarius. Um, Libra. Yeah, they have very strict demands and requirements. This is someone who is very sensitive. They've had their heart broken before and they're very paranoid about getting their heart broken again. Um, they're extremely obsessed with you, but this is someone who's very stubborn in, in what they want. They feel like they deserve complete attention from you and complete dedication from you, if that makes sense. Weird, let me clarify this energy. Tell me about the Queen of Wands spirit. Hierophant in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse. What? Knight of Cups and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Uh, they want something serious with you, Virgo. But they feel like you're not offering them something serious or you're not available for, for something serious. And they're waiting for you to come towards them with a proper offer. What they feel is a proper offer, a correct, a correct offer, which is, you know, Full commitment, full attention, full loyalty, full dedication to them, full investment. They just want you to give them everything. And they're very stubborn. They're not going to accept anything except what, they, what they're asking for, what they want. Otherwise, I see this person is in this energy of not, not engaging themselves with you, not involving themselves with you. Keeping, keeping you distant, keeping you at a distance, distance, but I feel like it's a little bit of a game also, um, Virgo, I feel like this person is playing some kind of weird game here, they're trying to, you know, indirectly, they're trying to control you or manipulate you into, do, into doing what, what they want you to do or into offering them what they want you to offer them. They're trying to control you or manipulate you with the devil card. Um, this is someone who's very jealous in some, for some reason. They're very jealous and they want, a f they want reassurance. They want extra reassurance. But I get this energy of someone who doesn't really give, you know, to the same amount of what they're asking for, if that makes sense. Because you were seeing this person as the empress in reverse, which is um, a lazy type of energy. So I feel like this person, they ask a lot from you or they ask you to make a lot of changes for them but they themselves don't make changes for you, if that makes sense. They don't, they're not doing anything for you. They're, all they're asking is for you to do everything for them. Okay. Hmm. 
Hopefully that made sense. I'm going to continue now in the extended Virgo. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What exactly are their true intentions with you and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If this resonated and if you're interested, you can follow me in the extended reading. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.